Hello everyone, praise the Lord. Very good morning. I'm happy that God has brought us together to meditate this word today. Hello everyone, praise the Lord. Very good morning. I'm very happy that God has brought us together to meditate His word. May God speak to us even today as we meditate His word. Today's meditation is from the book of Acts chapter 22, verse 28. The commander, then the commander said, I had to pay a lot of money for my citizenship, but it, I was born a citizenship, Paul replied. So now, uh, Apostle Paul was explaining that uh, he has um, how uh, he has come and why he has been called and to whom he has been preaching the word of God. And the moment he said, uh, "I was called to preach the preach the gospel to the Gentiles," they get they got very angry. They shouted to shout and to him, "Oh, kill him! He is not supposed to live." And uh, when when the when the centurion heard this, he called him inside and uh, inside the fortress and he asked him and he in in fact he told his uh, soldiers that flog him and 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 find out why these people are angry with him because of it what is the reason they are angry because when he said this so they as, as they were tying him to flog him he said how dare you uh, it is not right to uh, tie a roman citizen when they heard he is a Roman citizen, because the Roman rule is going on, even they are Roman soldiers, the centurion is also Roman. So he says, um, how can you do this to a Roman citizen? When they heard, they were, they were astonished and they informed it to the centurion. He called him up and he said, I have, are you a Roman? And Apostle Paul said, yes, obviously I'm a Roman. And he said, oh, I have been sending, spending so much of money to earn this citizenship, to be called a Roman. But he, uh, Apostle Paul said, I heard it since my birth. So when we read this, we may understand that this Roman citizen has spent so much of money to earn this citizenship, to be called a great person. It, it is it is a greatest position in the world to be called a Roman citizen. So he has he has spent so much of money to earn it. My dear brothers and sisters, I want to tell you, but this said this centurion, he did not have one thing that was the knowledge of Jesus Christ. You may have the highest education in the world. You may have uh, the highest property, the wealth in this world. You may be the richest person of India or the world. But let me tell you, if you do not know Christ, they are all nothing. You have nothing. You may earn everything in this world. You may have, you may be considered as a high status people in this world. But let me tell you, if you do not have Jesus Christ, you have nothing. Amen.